Hi guys and welcome to an episode of Dial It Up. Uh, it's been a while since we've been able to do these. The last three ones that I did were live updates that we went over the upcoming rules for 2017. Um, the reason why we haven't been doing these as often as we had in the past is mostly just because at this point there's not much new being introduced into the game and with the fact that we are getting a major overhaul on the game just around the corner, I didn't want to make brand new content just to have it be irrelevant like a week later. Um, but there are a few things that are coming out in the newer sets that are still going to be relevant once the rules have switched over. So we're going to do a as many episodes as we can with that sort of things. So today we're going to be talking about shifting focus. Now shifting focus was a mechanic that was introduced in World's Finest last year and then they did pretty much nothing with it until the beginning of this year and we saw it happen with uh, Deadpool and then we saw it absolutely explode in Avengers Defenders War. So basically what shifting focus is, it's going to be a trait on one of the characters. Right now we have, I have Doctor Strange's card and it's called Shifting Focus, Doctor Strange. Give Doctor Strange a free action if he began your turn on the map. Replace him with another character with this trait on the same click number. So what it specifies with this trait, almost all of the shifting focuses say shifting focus and then whatever. So this one is Shifting Focus Doctor Strange. We have Shifting Focus Deadpool, Shifting Focus Superman, Shifting Focus Batman. So you can't change Doctor Strange into Batman, but you can change him into different Doctor Stranges. So it is a free action. It can be done at uh, any point in your turn. And the only stipulation on that is that that figure had to have begun that turn on the map. So you can't change multiple times within your turn. You take the one that you started with, change them into someone else, the next turn, change it into another version. Uh, Superman has about, I think, four versions, same with Batman, and Deadpool has like nine versions. Um, in Defenders Avengers War, we saw a smaller, um, most of them only have two, whereas Doctor Strange is the only one that has three. Um, these are replacements, so any effects that are going on with these characters, any tokens that are on them, any action tokens that are on them, uh, perplexes, outwits, anything that is affecting that character will still affect them once they turn into another version of the shifting focus. So it is still abide by every rule that replacement characters abide by. Um, and then they want to stay on the same click number. These characters with your shifting focus will be on your sideline, which will follow all of your sideline uh, rules, which include the limit on sideline, which is three characters per 100 points of build. So in standard modern format, we work within 300 points. You can have up to nine different characters on your sideline. It gets a little trickier when you do add in the fact that we still have ID cards right now. So your shifting focus might take up more of your sideline or you might have as much room when you factor in your ID cards. Um, the only other thing I wanted to mention with uh, these shifting focus is for whatever reason Wasp from the Avengers Defenders War set isn't labeled as a shifting focus trait. Um, her trait is time for a costume change, but it's worded exactly like every other shifting focus. So I don't think that was intentional. I think it was just kind of a missing copy and paste sort of thing for Wasp, the two different versions of Wasp. Um, so as I said, anything that's going to be affecting them, uh, now that will include their own, um, their own powers and stuff. So much like any other replacements, if one of them has a trait to do something that might not transfer over to the other version of it unless the other version of it has that trait as well. Um, if you look at the Electras, both of them have um, the Marvel Knights trait. And uh, so when you're switching between that same trait. So that was Shifting Focus. It's a big thing in the game right now with especially with Defenders, Defender, Avengers War. <laughs> 
Um, but it's a pretty simple mechanic when it comes down to it, and it's actually really good mechanic for learning the game and learning the strategy of the game as you look between the multiple versions of one character to see what sort of power set or even uh, stats that you want to bring into the game. And especially with these newer ones, Deadpool On, where we're actually having um, the dial on the back of the card, you can see where you're going to be when you switch them up. So if one of them is on click three, okay, let's look like at what click three is going to look like for all of the other versions. Um, so that's actually kind of an easier way or a better way to use these shifting focus. A little harder with the older ones, the Superman and the Batman, who don't have that advantage. Um, but the newer ones definitely have that advantage, which makes them even better for newer players learning how to play with these characters and learning the strategy of what to do in a game. So that was shifting focus. Hopefully I covered everything that you guys wanted to know about it, but if I didn't, any comments, questions, concerns, leave them down below and we'll see you next time for another episode of Dial It Up.